ever since Shenzhen started developing 40 years ago. It was like a small fishing village that turned into all of this craziness that you can see behind me. But anyway, what can you buy in Dongmen? Pretty much anything that you can possibly conceive of. Clothing, you can get your nails done, underwear, you can buy pets, you can buy glasses, you can buy medicine, anything that you can possibly conceive in your mind, you can get it in Dongmen. And you can also see over there that McDonald's on the corner is actually the first McDonald's in China, in mainland China. I don't know how impressive that is, but you know, it's McDonald's. By this point, they've taken over. So, why are we in Dongmen? We are actually about to go and have our last little hurrah at Dongmen Food Street, which has been, for the entire time we've lived here, one of our favorite locales to go and get awesome Chinese snacks. So, let's go. Dongmen is a literal shopper's paradise. You can buy anything that you would ever want to buy here. Or if you are not that into shopping, or if you're just broke like me, you can stuff your face until you literally pass out. So you can see that there are malls and little shops here and also tons of little stalls, but we are headed for Food Street. So you can take a look at Dongmen and we'll see you when we get there. Shenzhen is an immigrant city, which means that the population, about 10 million or so people, are made up of people that have immigrated from other cities into Shenzhen. So when you walk around Food Street, you can see food from literally every part of China, north part of China, south part of China, east, west, literally from all over. You have some pig feet, I believe that is. You have a whole bunch of skewers, roasted things on sticks. You're going to have lots of, you know, roasted meats and things like that. Um, you can walk around and literally at every single stall you're going to see something different. Here we have some ice cream. You can get it with fruit. You can get it with cookies as a topping. So much ice cream. And it's all made with, like, real milk. They don't really have, like, frozen yogurt here. Um, there is a guy with something that's kind of like, almost like gyro, but it's chicken based. And there is takoyaki, which is a Japanese dish that has octopus in the middle of it, which is actually really yummy. Um, here you can see, these are like little snails. And then right next to it, you can see there are big dishes of things that are being like steamed and stewed. And then right next to that, you have my favorite, which is barbecued squid. So good. Okay guys, so these are little <laughs> red bean paste filled buns and look at it, it's so cute! It's like a little pig. I'm gonna try it. I feel kind of guilty eating the pig bits. dried fruit yummy with tons of sugar so it's not that great for you and then over here we have different types of shellfish and then some more skewers you have some potatoes and we are actually coming up on a jianbing shop uh jianbing is a northern dish it's basically like a 
like a thin dough pancake which has like some like dried chickpeas and like crispy stuff inside of it. I'm not exactly sure of its uh what it's comprised of, but actually we're gonna get a shot of them making it so you can see. So he's spreading the dough out on the grill first and it cooks really fast. So of course you have to be pretty adept at doing this with this guy. He's on the ball. So he puts the dough on the grill first and then on top of the dough he's going to put egg. So the egg is going to cook really fast because he spreads it out really really thinly. And then on top of the egg I believe we are going to have some sauce. Yes, and that sauce is amazing it's so good and then we're gonna have some dried chickpeas and some other seasonings and some scallions all on there and then after he finishes putting cilantro and a couple of other things on it he's going to fold it up for me but before we close it out he's going to put these amazing like long crispy it's almost like the wonton noodles that you get in the United States that go in your soup um, so he puts two of those inside and then he wraps it all up for me and how fast is he doing this? He's like super practiced at it. And there you have my Bing. I'm super excited to eat it. It's gonna be so delicious. So on the second floor of this massive food metropolis, you can imagine there are more snacks. We've got a whole bunch of different skewers again and several different varieties of potatoes at the same stall. And then right next to it we have some rice paper. 
um, dishes that you can have rolled up. And then here is my favorite, Peking duck rolls, where you have the duck and the cucumber and the onion and the hoisin all rolled up together for you. And opposed to when you usually have Beijing duck, and that is where you, you know, cut the duck yourself and you put it in the little pancakes with the cucumber and the onion. So they make these for you pre-made. You get about five in an order, and they are one of my favorite snacks to have on the go. So I am definitely going to have to partake in some of these. Guys, for our last stop in Food Street, we got dessert, which is Liu Chopping Green Tea Cakes, which are crispy and fluffy and delicious. I cannot wait. 